As you can see here, uh, um, sometimes you have a tap that's a little bit wobbly. Uh, I've tightened it up the best I can. Basically, this was wobbling. This was like coming out of its its uh, its socket underneath. Um, as you can see here, now, works. Pops. And cold, and that moves across like that. This is a little bit of leave way. Not a massive amount now. It was like coming off before. If we go under the sink here and you go right underneath I've got some uh, some advice here um, excuse the noise there as you can see I'll take a few pictures uh, there's two little nuts here and like a horseshoe bracket and what the horseshoe bracket does is it uh, it goes over the two nuts behind the sink um, in sort of sequence as you can see there there's two of them um, and basically what you do is you put the horseshoe um, over the uh, the actual screws, the actual uh, the long thread here, which connects onto here, and these two little screws here, um, or these two little um, should I say bolts, not screws, sorry, um, little fittings. What they need to do is they need to be tightened. So what that does is that pushes that up and tightens the actual uh, the horseshoe here. So it pushes it up a little bit and puts more force onto the nut than onto the actual base of the sink, which then tightens it up. Um, as you can see here, I've had a few issues trying to get round to the other one because we've actually got um, a drawer here. Um, as you can see, there's the drawer. And on the other side, if we go to the other side, you can't actually get to it very well because some Mickey Mouse expert has put this in here. Uh, corresponding here so if we go back over here again you can see all I've done is I've gone underneath um, and I've tightened uh, the best I can uh, both of them with the access that I, the access that I've actually got at the moment um, so what I've done here again like I said I found this tool um, in the drawer this here can you see this um, this here and what this does if you've got one of these, this was quite handy because I tried to do it with a pair of pair of pliers. But what happens is, excuse me, this and I just lean down. It's a bit of a mission here. Um, so that goes that goes up into there like so, as you see, right in, and then that basically connects up onto there, and you turn it like that. And you keep turning it, so you you've got it. You see what I'm doing there? You turn that across, then what that'll do, if I pull that out now, just gently, it's gonna be very careful because I've got the, uh, bear me a minute, let me just pull that down. There we go, so that's out now. Um, and as you can see, I don't know why I'm out of breath, but uh, as you can see there now, that is now tightened. It's a lot tighter onto the actual sink. Um, and the, the horseshoe, all the horseshoe does, um, it just basically crimps um, the actual nut, should I say, um, to the horseshoe and pushes it up towards the sink, as you can see, uh, just over there. And it just basically pushes it up. That's all it does, pushes it up, and the nut tightens it. So if anybody has got any issues with the sink tap just going a little bit loose, um, all you need to do is, it's not rocket science, um, you just tighten those little nuts there, on the outside and all that does is crimp up like um, the c-shaped horseshoe effect um, that you've that you've got there tightens that up you can either tighten one up if you can't tighten both of them up and get that tight so it's not as loose as it was or try and get them both loose at uh, both tightened sorry and then there that's just your that's just the thing I found in the cupboard um, which, believe it or not, is probably for to tighten that up. So, uh, so there you go. That helps anyway. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you want. I'm not normally used to doing videos like this. Uh, I thought I'd put it on YouTube anyway um, for people that are stuck if they're having issues with their uh, the sink tap just wobbling a little bit. All it is is just tighten a couple of knots um, onto a piece of metal here, which is shaped as a C, and all that does is just pushes up towards the sink. Uh, simple terminology as that. Um, you can use, if you've got more access than what I've got here, because I've got this stupid piece of wood in front here, um, then uh, obviously it's a bit harder to work with. But I'm quite happy with the results. It's a lot tighter than it was before now. 
um, and it uh, it saves uh, asking the the landlord to uh, to try and to try and solve this problem. Um, but um, I always like to try and do something. If I can do it, I'll do it. You know, um, I, I like to save money. I'm sure, like everybody else does, and that's why they come on to to YouTube to do various things. But like I said. Uh, I don't normally do videos like this. If you liked it, thanks very much. If you didn't, then sorry that I didn't help you. Uh, but comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, yeah, share it if you want. Uh, like I said, I'm not a plumber, but it's not rocket science. Uh, when it comes to water and stuff, you know, it's like building a PC, isn't it? Um, like a water-cooled PC or whatever. Um, but as you see there, all I've done, I've tidied it up there for you guys. Um, there's a horseshoe there that's pushed up to the sink, which has grabbed it a little bit more. And that's it. So anyway, thanks very much. Like I said, comment, rate and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you probably on the next video, whenever that is and whatever it's going to be. See you later, guys. Bye.